Hey, howdy there again, folks. Megan, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks. Sampler platter video series of videos I've been doing for a little while. Where I go there, I try food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff. I'll let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious crap that you can go over there and put in your mouth. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to talk about them. Yammer on. There's going to be yammering. Okay. That's that's a given. I mean, I'm, I'm a Wenzel. We like to yammer. I'm just saying. What am I going to yammer about, folks? Well, I'm going to explain some stuff about some things that I ate, and then on top of that, I'm do a wall. There's Peter Canthorn bull post behind me. Grab your ladder off to the side. Look at that. It's my little girl, Suzuru. She's adorable. She's a fluffy little hamster. I mean, she's silly. <laughs> Sometimes when I do these videos, I'll do little hamster cameos and pick them up and, you know, have them hang out with me. Uh, Shizuru, despite the fact that she's the one who's most likely to be in my videos in the background, I won't be doing that with her. Uh, she's an adorable hamster. I love the hell out of her. Um, she had an incident where she went over there and uh, hurt one of her eyes. Ever since then, she's been a little bit more fidgety about stuff, so she's a little bit harder to handle. I still pick her up, you know, every other day or so and hang out with her for a little bit. But, so she's, she's just chilling over there. Anyway... What am I trying for y'all today, folks? Oh, wait, by the way, while I'm doing all this stuff, usually wearing a cool shirt, at least if I'm inside the house, today, and I'm going to do, I do these videos in batches, so I'm going to be wearing the same shirt for the next few items that I'm doing, and I'm going to explain this every single time. So if you're watching my videos in sequence, you get to this point, you know, you can skip over it if you want or do whatever you want to do, but this is for a band called Ginger. They're banned out of the Ukraine. Obviously, at the time I'm doing this, Ukraine's been going through some crazy stuff. The whole situation with Russia and Vladimir Putin being a giant douchebag. That's right, I said it, Putin. I don't give two shits of the fuck you little Spetsnav wannabe. Psh, fucking over there. I can ride horses and I use, I'd go over there. I do, I do jujitsu. Good for you. Good for you. You're an ass clown. Everybody knows it. Everybody's known it for a long time. Suck. Anyway. Weirdly political, but, you know, I don't think I'm too far off on this one. But anyway, folks, what am I trying for y'all today? Well, we got two for... Boom! We got water drops. But wait, Brandon, didn't you just do a water drops video not that long ago? Maybe. It depends on when I do this video. For all I know, as soon as I get done with this video, I can go over there. There could be a baseball that comes flying through the window right in front of me. Smacks me in the head, and then I'm in a coma for 30 years and such. Could happen. And then I upload the video, having had lost my memory, not realizing that I'd be 65 at the time. But yes, uh, I did do a video for some water drops, what these are. They are uh, water additives. And they're supposed to be all healthy. Look, you can see the thing. And it's got a little cubey part, or a little cube part. See? Cube, cube, cube. And you drop these in the water, and they foam up like an Alka-Seltzer, and then they flavor your water. Now, the main thing about these is that they're zero sugar, they're all quasi-healthy, all that good stuff. So, thing was, the last video I did, I did four of them, under the impression that I had four. But then, when I was going through my cabinet full of stuff to review, I found these two had kind of gotten pushed to the back. So, I have two flavors that I missed out on. One specifically being Shiro, and the other one being Love. Shiro is cherry blossom, lime blossom, and ginseng. And it's sugar-free, low-calorie, vitamin C, niacin, and pantothenic acid. Sure. Other one, Love. It is pomegranate, goji berry, and acerola? Acerola? Sure, why the hell not? And it had sugar-free, low-calorie, vitamin C, vitamin B6, and thiamine. I don't, as I always state whenever I'm doing quote-unquote like healthy stuff, please do your own research. Super not a doctor, I'm just not. Um, oh, and by the way, the band thing that I was talking about earlier, I keep getting sidetracked. With uh, Ginger, they're presently, it's time I'm doing this, they're in the Ukraine. They're trying to help out the people there and everything like that. Uh, all the shirts, these specific ones... And on the back it says, uh, we want her home back. These specific ones, the uh, all the proceeds go to help people in the Ukraine. So I'll put a link in the description box 
uh, you can go over there and, you know, if you want to help out or anything like that. So, and they're an awesome band on top of it. But anyway, water drop stuff. So yeah, I'm going to try these two just to finish out the thing. Um, we'll start with love because who doesn't love love? Love. See, it's all purpley. And when I did my previous review of these, I had to do it twice. Well, I just started twice. Because I didn't realize how long it takes for these things to dissolve inside of these. I actually did these uh, before I started doing this batch of reviews. And I just did a uh, about a 12-minute review on some maple bacon flavored potato chips. Go watch that video. And uh, it took the majority of that time for them to fully dissolve. So let's try some love, folks. Love, love, love makes the world go round. And if you get that reference, good for you. has kind of an odd smell. Maybe that's the Ace Rolla. Like, the, the start of it is kind of fruity, which I'm guessing is the pomegranate. Uh, or maybe the goji berry? I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of experience with the goji berry. But then there's kind of this, a little bit of a funk to it, which makes me a little bit hesitant, but ooh, let's try a thing. Yeah, unfortunately, that funk carries through. <laughs> That's definitely part of the flavor. Um, yeah, uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, like, it starts out okay. And it has kind of a very light fruitiness, which is actually pretty decent. But then it's got this weird funk to it, and it's hard to describe, but... It's not intolerable or anything like that, but it it diminishes what should be a good drink. If it had just been like the fruity aspect of it, even with it being light and it being non-sugar, that would be a pretty solid, just you know, refreshing little water additive. With that added funk though. It just it leaves like a weird sort of, I don't even know if I call it an aftertaste, because it's definitely present throughout the entire process. Uh, or at least the, the vast majority of it. Yeah. It just tastes, it makes it taste off. Like, if I didn't realize that this is just a water additive, I would presume that something had gone wrong. Like, it had spoiled or some shit. So I don't think these should have done... Never mind, they're just little QB things and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure they probably have a shelf life. Uh, maybe? I mean, all the other ones tasted fine. Deck, uh, three, thirty-one. Well, okay. Best Buy 331 20, uh, 22. It's 4-2. So unless these things went off in a bad way... In the last, well, okay, the time I'm doing this, technically it's the third now that I think about it. I, mm, I don't think that's the case. I think these just kind of taste funky. So, all right, well, that one's out. Let's try Shiro. Again, Shiro, cherry blossom, lime blossom, and ginseng. So I'm guessing it'll taste botanically. Yeah. Yeah, it has sort of a botanical aspect to it, but because it's a fairly light flavor, like if you if you've ever had a botanical based drink, uh they're kind of hit or miss. You really kind of have to either go with it or not. Uh cuz the the floral aspect of it, it's an almost like sort of perfumey kind of taste. It's it's weird. Um if you do too much with it, it's it's not great. But in this, because it is, like I said, fairly light tasting, and then it's also got the ginseng to kind of go over there and create a little bit of a balance to it, it's not bad. It 
it's got sort of a mild bitterness to it. Then you get sort of the floral aspect of it. Then you get, and the bitterness might be the ginseng. I did a ginseng drink review. I think by now it should be up at the time I'm loading this one up. It isn't, it isn't while I'm presently doing this, but I think in between the time it, it should be up. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. It's definitely better than the love by a good margin. I don't know if it's something I would want to regularly add to drink, though. That's kind of been my problem with out, with, throughout all the water drop stuff, is that even at their best, they're not something that, like, I would regularly want as, like, a thing. Uh, once in a while, maybe, but, you know, just to have as an option. Because, uh, you know, they are zero sugar, so they're not really sweet or anything. They're just kind of giving it, you know, some flavor, but... So, yeah, uh... Like I said, I definitely prefer this over the love. Uh, you know, where would it fall in the pantheon of the six total that I've tried? I don't have the other ones here available for me to compare, but I'd probably put it at maybe like number three or so. A little bit in the middle, but kind of on the upper end. It's 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 okay. I. I want there to be more to it, and I'd like it to be a little bit sweet. But I also understand from the aspect of it being like a quote-unquote like healthy water additive. Obviously, they're not going to do that. Uh, so, I mean, and that's the thing. This kind of falls into what I was talking about uh, in my previous review, where, you know, in terms of like if I wanted to recommend it to people or something, to the average person, I really couldn't. Because the average person, I would think, would want something... You know, that's that's going to not only give it some flavor, but, you know, preferably make it taste, you know, nice. Whereas these, they make it taste sort of healthy-ish. And maybe not bad, but, well, some of them. A couple of them, I would argue, including the love. I'm not super into that one. But, if you're somebody who's into, like, the healthy stuff and everything, you're probably already going to be used to stuff like this. So you're probably going to be the more the market that this is going to be aiming towards. Um, you know, where you're used to, like, botanical stuff and things, you know, having more, you know, potentially more muted flavors and stuff. And, you know, sacrificing that for the healthy aspect of it. So to that end, you know, it serves a purpose, but again, to the average person, I don't think they'd be super into it. But, you know, hey, I could be wrong. It depends on what you're going for. For me personally, all I know is I have a shitload of these things now. And I'm going to be handing them out to people and stuff and doing things. Because I'll, I'll have some here and there. No two ways about it. But, yeah, not, not all the time. Not all the time. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this review. Uh, I believe that's the end of the, the water drop stuff. Unless I, for some reason, have more and I'm not aware of it. So, anyway, five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Stack to the rest of the week. Monumental rest of your month. Spend this rest of your year if you can go over there and have yourselves a truly happy and healthy rest of your life, folks. Because normally I tie it in with the item and stuff, but in this instance, I'm just going to tie it down to like the happy and healthy aspect that they're trying to promote with it. That's what I want you to do. Final two things for me, folks, if you could. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is how we're always appreciated, even if it doesn't always feel like it. But we do if you can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Okay? Mitigate the level of assholishness in your life. You're not always going to succeed, but take that conscious step just to go over there and be like, do I need to be an asshole in this situation? Does it warrant being an asshole in this situation? Or can I maybe walk away from it, let bygones be bygones, all that good stuff. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to do. It's hamster! Hamster! She's adorable. Um, whatever the head thing is for you, folks, I want you to do. Maybe you can go over there. You're going to get yourself some water drops. You're going to go over there and you're going to put them in your water and get healthy and do all the stuff and all the things. And then you can go over there and be like, Brandon, you totally went over there and got me onto these things and it changed my life. And now I'm going to go over there and write a song in your honor or something like that. Which, by the way, if for whatever reason, I can't imagine you would, but if you ever want to go over there and thank me for any of this stuff... I mean, mostly just, you know, hey, thank me in the comment section. I appreciate it. A kind word every now and again. Uh, but 
go over there, link to Ginger, maybe pick up a shirt, maybe grab some of their other merch. They're an excellent band. So that's going to be my final send off on this one, folks. Bye.